What's going down everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Camping with Coleman. It's your boy Josh aka Coleman and as you can see we're getting ready to do another unboxing video here on a brand new Cal RC work mat. However, something's a little funky. As you can clearly see, this package is damaged. Like not just a little bit but like it's destroyed. This is horrible. So today, for those of you that did not watch my live stream on my Facebook page, and for those of you that want to, the link will always be in the description for my Facebook page, so feel free to click on that at any time. But uh, today, I went down there to pick up a package that I missed last Saturday. Um, they tried to drop it off here at my house and I was not available to accept it, so I went and picked it up this morning at the United States Post Office here in Bend, Oregon. Oh, to my surprise, the gentleman went in the back, and when he came back, he handed me this. Boom, and just sets that down like that and just kind of looks at me. And I'm like, what, are you, are you kidding right now? Are you joking? Like, what, what happened to my package? He's like, I'm not really sure, and, and it just went into this, yeah. So, long story short, obviously it's not that guy's fault, but um, I'm upset. So, if you want to look close here, you will see that there is, not only is it smashed, but there's water damage. That is water damage. Look at the faded color, faded barcode, the super deteriorated cardboard. That's water damage. You can see the water line. It was clearly sitting in water. So I have a feeling everything in here is going to be damaged with water as well. Which I didn't notice when I was down there, but I noticed it when I got home. Um, another thing, let me take this out of here. Oh, I hate these things. Another thing was I had a predicament. Uh, so the option they gave me was either A, I accept the package, or I mean, uh, A, I don't accept the package and return it to sender. Well, this is from a sponsor, ATs, aka Asia Tees, who is helping me out with some projects right now. And, uh, so <laughs> these are kind of on a deadline for my video series, right? And they're also on a deadline for my builds. So I can't necessarily ship them back to China and then wait for all new stuff to come right now. I kind of have to work with what's in here. So that kind of puts me in a position. So the second option was to accept it. And he said that I can uh, take it into the customer service desk and show them and open it up in the desk and show them the damage to any products or anything in there. Well, that um, is clearly not going to happen realistically. They're not going to let me open my package. Oh, sorry, guys. They're not going to let me open my package in there and, like, spill it out all over. The lady was not down for that, and I recorded our conversation. So I have proof of that conversation. I also did the live stream from down there, and I also took photos of this box as he was trying to hand it to me like this. So um, I, I'm very good at covering my backside. <laughs> And so, um, basically, because it's a sponsor, thankfully, um, I'm sure I can contact them, let them know what's going on, and they'll get me new stuff just like that. They're always on the ball. Asia Tees, if you guys haven't ordered from Asia Tees, I highly suggest it. This is not due to them, okay? This right here is from the carrier service we used. This right here is what Asia Tees stuff normally looks like. Properly packaged, sealed, beautiful like perfect line tape everything's always like perfect with their boxes you guys that have been with me for a while have seen me open plenty of uh packages here online or on my channel from asia tees they always do a great job so this was clearly from the uh carrier you know and so the lady basically tried to blame it on them and then she tried to blame it on the hong kong post and tried to take like duck out of any responsibility for it so i told her basically that you know look it was fine when he sent it and it was damaged when it arrived and the post office was the carrier we used the hong kong post service and the united states post service so 
clearly, uh, it's not one of us that's going to be held reliable, but somebody's going to be held reliable for this. It's just going to have to happen. Um, and I will be airing this and promoting this as much as necessary to get their attention if I need to, because this is not okay. With uh, the amount of people that use their service and the amount of people that watch me open products from my sponsors that, you know, this is all promotional. And then what, we're, we're going to get this type of treatment, you know, to the products from the carrier service? It's just not okay with me. So, anyways, long story short, uh, I'm not going to rant too much. I ranted earlier. I am going to open this now, and we're going to see just how bad the damage is. If any, maybe we'll get lucky. There won't be any, but we're going to find out now. You guys out there watching, please cross your fingers. Wish me luck here. Um, I'm not really sure. I guess we'll try to open it like we normally would. So, cut the tape this way. I'm gonna cut the tape. Well, it's pretty much already cut, so we'll go like that. That way. Uh, probably could have used a sharper blade. But. All right, so we should be able to. Well, I guess we didn't even have to do the middle one. All right, so it's open. Obviously, I did some excessive cutting there. <laughs> oh man. I'm really bummed out though. I'm scared to look in here. I'm not gonna lie. Thankfully, they always do lots of bubble wrap and stuff. I mean, look at this. They do a great job of, you know, sealing everything up. It's bubble wrap inside of bubble wrap. So, um, just to show you guys, too, forewarn you, uh, there's some pretty cool stuff in here, just in case it's not broken. First things first. Some of you are going to know what this is right off the bat. Yeah. The new Cherokee body. Oh man, so let's hope it's not damaged. Alright. I have plans for this body. Uh, this is from Team Raft, or created by Team Raft. You can get it at Asia Tees, www.asiatees.com. Link's always down in the description for those of you that are new to the channel. And uh, basically, yeah, just scope it out right there is your information, man. Go type that in on their website. You'll find it in Heartbeat. Or just type in XJ because it's the XJ body. This thing is awesome. Super stoked on that. Now, I also got a few other things here. Because uh, this is, I have plans for this. It's going to be something. Um, I got these to go with it. I've been wanting a set of these for a while. These are just beast. Look at those. These are Boom Racing Evo 1.9 Claw High Mass Beadlock Aluminum Wheels. It's a, quite the mouthful there, but you guys take a peek there. You can see up close. Very cool looking wheels. And they're heavy. That's the whole point of these, is they're supposed to be heavy. They're for rock crawling. These ones aren't really for lightweight rigs and stuff. These are for the heavyweight stuff I like. Stoked on those. Super stoked on those. Let me set those aside. Oh, my stickers and my information. Then, we have this here we're going to open up. we got a few things inside of one here. Alright. Empty this up. We've got these bad boys here, some wheel wideners, some hex wideners, I don't, I don't really know what you want to call them there, but I have a use for these too. I've been stocking up on things like this because I do a lot of custom things and I need to change width on stuff a lot. But these are uh, new to me, I've never used this brand before. Road Tech, uh, I have their stickers, you know, I've, from the old Asia Tees sticker packs. Um, Road Tech tires, wheels, aluminum wheel hex. Adapter, these are 12 on 12 millimeter, um, four of them in a pack. Yeah, really good if you just want to widen some stuff out a little bit and you have the meat, you know, there as far as the spindle sticking out, you know, the thread 
sticking out of there. If you've got enough, you can use these bad boys. Pretty cool. Set that aside. Next thing I have here, this is awesome. I already have one of these, the Blue Dream, you guys, the Blue 10 AJK build I have, um, has these in the transmission. This is the HD Steel Pineapple Gear Set for an Axial SCX-10. Recon G6 certified, and uh, I will attest to that. I've had mine in my truck for a year now, just about, and I've beat on them good. Now, given I don't use the spur gear in that one because it's a it's a spurless setup I, it's the anti-spur setup but I use everything else and by pineapple cut um, what most of us here are gonna know it as is uh, helical cut gears basically and they're all slanted so you're gonna get more bite you're gonna get a bigger gear or a bigger uh, contact surface area with those gears and they're just really good they work really good uh, I've really had no issues with them at all so I'm stoked um, we got some scale accessories here we've got some killer body seats. I needed some seats, pretty stoked on that. These look like they're gonna be perfect size. I was wondering, I've never purchased any of these before, so pretty excited to use these ones. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set those down for those of you that wanted the part number on that, if you need any seats. I don't know if it's focusing, there it goes. All right, on to the next, on to the next. We've got scale accessories. This right here is just a little bench. This is actually for my course. It's a little small, but it'll work. It'll work. That's for the course. Now, we've got another set of wideners. I'm going to set those down over there since we've already seen those. We've got this right here. This is from a really cool company a lot of people aren't aware of. Um, this is Hercules Hobby. Okay, Hercules Hobby makes parts mainly for 114 scale semi trucks but if you guys know me you know that I t am kind of known for taking 114 scale semi products and transfer or transforming them into 110 scale truck products and uh, this will be used on one of my trailers pretty stoked on that so let's keep moving here now I've got Another product from Hercules Hobbies, right? Now keep in mind, Hercules Hobbies is all found at Asia Tees. You guys go to Asia Tees to pick these up. This right here is just a, basically it's, it's a one, one transfer case, I guess. It doesn't really do any reduction at all. It's just to extend uh, drive line or extend your drive shaft. So if you've got a really long wheelbase and you don't have a long enough drive shaft, you can get one of these, mount it in between, and then run two drive shafts. And it'll work for you. It works awesome. You guys will see what I'm using that on later. Oh, next thing I have is from Team RAF here. This is a compact uh, 10 to 1 gear reduction unit for a 540 motor. Yes, you heard that correctly. 10 to 1 gear reduction unit. So this beast, um, it's heavy. It's got a lot of gearing in it. And uh, there's your number there. This thing will be used in an upcoming build as well. I can't give you guys too much information right now, but you know I will here soon enough. <clears throat> now, next thing I have here are these. Uh, these are pretty cool. From Team RAF, we've got the Axial Racing Keychain, which is awesome. You guys know I love Axial products, so I want to rep for Axial there on my keychain. And then I also got an Asia Tees one. You guys know I love Asia Tees, so I'm going to rep for ATs. And uh, yeah, make my keychains look cool. I might actually just hang those off of my radios. We'll see. Either way, that's awesome. I have one more thing here, something that I've been waiting on, the most important part of this box to me, because I've done all the rest, and this is the final pieces here. I have these from Hercules Hobbies, all right? I've got these right here. These are 114 tractor truck rear wheels, but they're single rear wheels, right? And they're for the dualies, boom. But instead of being bolted together, they just have a shortened centerpiece. And whew, if I'm lucky, we'll see. I'm about to open it here. Might as well open one right now and see. They should have a hex on the back. For those of you that know, finding uh, dually wheels with the hex on the back is kind of hard. We got limited options. They are out there, but for those of us that want to be different than the pack, you know, yeah, sometimes you got to look around a little bit to find those ones. And what do you know? 
hexes. So, for those of you looking for semi wheels, you want to build something that looks legit, right? Be sure to look into uh, AsiaTees.com and look up Hercules Hobbies wheels. Just all kinds of products from Hercules Hobbies. Very, very cool stuff. Um, I've been ordering stuff from them that I haven't showed you guys yet just because I wanted to check it out first and make sure it's all legit. And uh, yeah, you guys will see a whole bunch of upgrades here on Triple Six here soon. And quite a few of them are products from this company. So pretty stoked, you guys. Be sure to go check out Asia Tees. Give them some love. Give them like if you haven't already on their Facebook page. Their Instagram's popping. Um, a lot of people get confused, you know, with Boom Racing and Asia Tees and stuff. Um, go to Asia Tees to get everything. You don't want to look up Boom Racing first. You want to look up Asia Tees. You don't want to look up Team Raft first. You want to look up Asia Tees. You don't want to look up Hercules Hobbies first. You want to look up Asia Tees. Asia Tees is the central hub for all these cool product brand lines and stuff, right? So go to Asia Tees. Be sure to let them know I sent you and uh, get you guys some cool stuff, man. All right, I'm going to get off here and start seeing what I can do. You know what it is. Peace and chicken grease. I'm going to see you guys out on the trails, huh?